Welcome back to Final Fantasy X, my friends. Uh, in the previous segment, we were rescued uh, by the Albed from Bar's temple, and now, as a payback, I suppose, they Perhaps want us to help them explore some ancient ruins. Now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. And I guess because we're uh, Tidus is a blitz baller and all, um, he can withstand the pressures of the ocean floor. Uh, you know, who am I to judge? Uh, even though it does seem a little bit silly. And we do seem to go fairly deep, but oh well. Um, as we move on down, we will enter a few random battles and it's a perfect opportunity to let Riku steal a little bit uh, believe it or not you can actually steal grenades from the piranha the piranha um, and it's not necessarily a bad idea to let uh, the piranhas eat you or hit Riku at least, because uh, I actually want to charge up her overdrive so that she can use it uh, against the next boss battle that we're going to face. Yes, keep attacking Riku, that's what I want. So you know, it's not a bad idea to drag these fights a little bit, it's always a little bit of extra damage that you get and apparently the Pirangas are very much interested in keep <laughs> uh, attacking Riku so I can't really complain, even though I, think, I do think I'm gonna finish this fight in the next turn. Yeah, actually you know what, let's drag it out a little longer. Attack Riku again, please. Thank you. Good Piranhas, very good. I'm gonna heal myself soon in the... I think... I can finish this battle now. How do you guys feel about the soundtrack in the remastered version? Do you think it's better or worse? I think most people uh, think it's better. Sheer boosts up our strength a little bit, uh, so that's why I was able to to overkill the Pirangas. So let's keep going down. We'll be able to heal because there's a safe point uh, right inside. So let's do that. We don't need to save. Let's keep going. Get used to this because apparently Tida solves everything in this game by punching it. Uh, it's effective, what can I say? Now all we need to do is keep heading down, just follow Riku more piranhas preemptive strike huh? well I'm indifferent to hit myself like I said I'm more interested in stealing and actually have them attack me and to again build up Riku's overdrive let's see if we can steal some more grenades, yes we can no don't attack Tidus, attack Riku, that's why I want you to attack even though I guess you're not gonna do it, oh well Yeah, 
Yes, that's what you need to do. That's enough cheering, I guess. Yes, attack creep. That's what you need to do. Very nice behind this. That's what I like. Yep, we'll be able to overkill them for sure. I mean, I used cheer so many times. Overkill. And for speed spheres, doesn't hurt to have them. And once again, Tidus will solve uh, its predicament by punching uh, the machines. Hey, it works, so can't really judge. That's there's the next boss that we're going to face. His name it, its name is Tross. So let's go after him and take him on. Uh, I do believe that at this point the only way to overkill him uh, is to uh, have Riku mix up two grenades. To do that however we will have to Make sure that he uses Nautilus attack or um, Nautilus charge, that's the name of the attack. And that way. We'll. He'll use Nautilus charge at least once, and that will give us. Uh, again, after Tidus, come on now. He, he will swim away uh, after you deal uh, 365 damage um, and now he will use a Nautilus charge so at this point you will be able to use a trigger command uh, at first you'll only be able to use standby uh, which will allow you to restore a little bit of your health however uh, the second time he tries to do this, he'll be able to use a pierce formation and that way you will be able to... and I do need a potion. You will be able to prevent him from using Nautilus charge because Riku will go from one side and Tidus will go from the other side. Jesus, that wasn't very good. There he goes again. So, like I was saying, at this point you can prevent him from using Nautilus Charge. Um, Tidus, only Tidus has this command, which is the Pinter attack. But, uh, like I said, I don't want him to use that because it will allow me to... Here he comes again. Man, he's a stubborn uh, guy. Should attack Riku, not Tidus.
Ah, uh, finally. Just a little more and... We will be able to use Riku's uh, mix. Uh, not enough yet, oh well. There he goes, he will use Nautilus charge one more time and that will be enough I think to charge up Riku's uh, overdrive. So like I said you can use the pincer attack to prevent the Nautilus charge attack but I'm not gonna do that. Instead I am going to just patiently wait. Here he comes, finally. So now I do believe that Riku can finish him off. All we need to do is mix two grenades. There we go. Flash Flood. Overkill, there we go. That will give us a, a couple extra power spheres, which isn't a bad thing at all. And that's that for Tross. Very nice. Four power spheres. So at this point I do believe I can move my sphere grid just a little bit. If I go through here I could t make Tidus learn scan but that's not necessary. So instead we're actually going to move him here. Defense by one, that's... And agility by one. Like I said, don't stock up on the spheres. Use them as soon as you can and that way you will... Um, you will power up your characters along the way. Like I said, there's no point in stockpiling spheres. At least not these spheres. And now we're going to have to witness a long, long cutscene. Let's go back. I guess the, all the Albed are excellent swimmers. What have we uncovered this time? More ruins, wonderful. Well, a job well done, I guess we can all go back inside and party or whatever the Albed do in these times of joy, I don't know. All I know is that we're about to have a pretty long cutscene. Hey! Hey, I helped out, didn't I? Not enough, I guess. Ugh, hungry. He sure likes to whine. Whoa! Right on! 
Couldn't you get him a fork and a knife? Jesus Christ. Get the man some water. He doesn't have a lot of manners now, does he? It's cause you eat too fast. You don't tell me. Or as Nicolas Cage would say, you don't say. Hey. Hello there. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! You really do understand. <laughs> huh? uh, why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get a chance to. Everyone thought we were a fiend. Uh, we? Oh, we means you. Uh, no. Well, it does. So you're French then? Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an Albed hater, are you? We mean oh, we means yes in French, so I guess Where well, that's why they they got their inspiration. I'm a blitzball player, star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Um, you guys hit me. Oh right. Do you remember anything before that? You are not going to like to hear this. So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. About life there, Blitzball, and Sin's attack. And about how Aaron and I were engulfed in this light. I just said things as they came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Did I say something funny? You were near sin. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? You mean I'm sick? Because of sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? Yeah. There is no Xanarkand anymore. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. So no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Wha wha what do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkand. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way! Okay, and after this, if we go back and talk to Riku, we'll have another huge cutscene. Uh, so I'm actually going to end this episode right here, my friends. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll head towards B-Side Island. And we'll have to say goodbye to our all bad friends for now. Um, so once again, thank you so much for watching. And take care, my friends.